Hello, I'm Good Pop, I'm Bad Pop, and welcome to Redonculus.com. I'm giving this briefing today, and I hope it pisses you off. And if it doesn't offend you, I promise I shall try harder. Yeah! Let us begin. Fun with numbers, part two. And I have basically mathematically dissected the life of a feminist. You know, it's not that I'm anti-feminist. I'm anti-tyrannical feminist. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this the part where I'm supposed to actually care? Well, I don't. Bummer for you. You got me. All right. Drop your peg D, turn off the porn, pull out your calculator, and check my numbers. Also, Google the facts. This is what I've come up with thus far. The average lifespan, pretty much 75 plus or minus six. We start off, fall out of the meat sack day, or birthday, or, you know, whatever. You show up, it is what it is. There's 6,570 days, plus or minus 180, of childhood. Feminism. The women are usually indoctrinated between 13 and 22. Indoctrination. What does that remind you of? Get the hint? They don't call it a feminazi for nothing. From 18 to 30, their primary fertility window is 4,380 days. That's not a lot of days. You know, meet a guy, settle down, and have your two or three kids and your half a dog. Hang on, I need a bear. This is the primary marriage window. And I've gone by some of the census data and the primary marriage window, for whatever reason, falls between 25 and 28. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it is. And then if they're not married by 28, they take like a, a redo or they take a pause to reinvent themselves. It's because they realize that they've been selecting on a very shallow criteria. Oh, I said it, shallow. If you'll see here between 30 and 35 is the secondary marriage window. But keep in mind, it's even harder to climb through that window when you're gravitationally challenged and lugging a small moon. Because we all know, paritis comes on pretty quick. It's only five pizzas away. The secondary fertility window is only 2,920 days long. Do my math times 365, I don't take account leap years because that's gay, but a good game of leapfrog in the bedroom, <laughs> game on. And the windows just keep getting smaller and smaller, unlike your thighs. I mean, that's pretty bleak, man, but it gets better. Just wait. You just have to realize when you hit 38, if Mr. Wright hasn't showed up by then, odds are he's not coming or you've already passed them by, chewed them up and threw them back. So you need to retread something and ride it into the beach because it just gets worse from here. I'm 44, I'm gonna be 45 soon. So I see a lot of this. I'm speaking kind of as a subject matter expert, as individuals on the other side witnessing this train wreck in slow motion. If you come over here, see the in green here? This is the Hail Mary Pass. Last ditch pig pass. Oh, I'm sorry, the Hail Mary last ditch pass and this is also the third fertility window which by the way is usually medically assisted and extremely expensive ditch pig and that is 2555 days long that's just that's going to be gone like like that usually the hail mary gets intercepted i'm not exactly what that means but why don't you use your imagination on that one? Oh, now you see the red numbers here Okay, the way this works is I've noticed a weird number line that comes up when I talk to a lot of females, and it's 75331. And I call it the downward spiral of diminishing returns. And what I mean by that is simply this. Like, they'll get married, they'll get divorced, and usually that first relationship after the divorce, it's only going to really go seven years. They cash that one in, they go and they'll link up another one. That one only lasts five. And then the one after that, for whatever reason, right around three. The next one, right around three. And then it goes down to one, one, and then they're done. It's just being overly mean. If you notice here, 
right around 56, 57, 58, it's the tail end of the whole feminism bubble. There's a huge wake up call. A lot of these feminists are like, oh my God, because they realize it's over. You're dead, your friends are dead, your family's dead, your fucking pets are being skinned alive, your mom's a fucking whore, you suck at life, the whole world hates you, you're going to hell, live with it. Game over. That's when they're getting kicked out the back end and feminism doesn't really care about them anymore because they're OPP. Old, poor, and powerless. Feminism, yeah! No. And if these women are not remarried, 38 to 40% of them will wind up living in poverty. Hey, but feminism doesn't care about you anymore because you're OPP. And just so we, you know, you get the math right, between 45 and 81, when you kick your air addiction or you cash in your meat sack or turn your body back in for its mineral deposit rights, that's 13,140 days. That's a long, long time. And us men, we usually die at 60, leave you holding the bag, so. <laughs> Let me just put this in perspective. So say you focus on your career and you burn up all your time and you get to like 40 and uh, you know, either you divorced him because you know, hey, you work too much or he's a bum or, or maybe it just never worked out. He's gone. And chances are if he's gone and the kids, they're gone too. So guess what? You are now gonna have to live 13,140 days by yourself. And you thought solitary confinement was bad in prison? Wow, self-inflicted solitary confinement. Doesn't get any worse than that. Yeah! I mean, if you look at that number line, it's really bleak, but <laughs> it is what it is. And that's a whole lot of time. And you did it to yourself. Anyway, that's just my theory, and I hope the truth hurts. Hey, ladies, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because if you do, I might help you out during that primary fertility window. Shallow. Get the hint? Oh, my God. The secondary window, uh, the secondary for, for, why can't I say that? I need to drink more. And the Hail Mary, last ditch pig pass. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a double pun because they call the football a pigskin.